things in the screen. So what we can do is we can look for simple shapes by putting a piece of tracing paper um, over our image. So if I just go around the face like that, you can see it's, it's almost a round circle for the face. If we take a line for the top of the eyes and the bottom of the eyes, Again, we can see that is approximately, I have to bring that one down a bit, it's approximately sort of, what would you say, sort of two thirds, perhaps a little bit lower than um, halfway, we've probably got two thirds and about a third there to the muzzle, and it's a little bit shorter on this, that's about halfway I'd say between there and there. We've then got this sort of, uh, triangular shape almost just here for the muzzle and the eyes again they're nice and big and round so getting the position of those helps and the ears again we can just simply put a shape in for the ears to help us get the position of them uh, the nose again is a very sort of simple shape and the mouth takes up that bottom section there. So we can then remove our picture and we can see how we can use those simple shapes to create our picture of a pug. So what I suggest we do first of all is just do a little one to get into uh, drawing it out without sort of tracing it or getting into too much difficulty. Um, so we'll do that first, we'll do a little one. Then we'll just concentrate on doing a, a sort of a warm-up exercise of drawing the eye and then we'll go into our full-size one. So, if you want to start doing that, uh, tracing your picture out, and while you're doing that, well not tracing it, looking for the simple shapes I should say, then we can start to um, use these simple shapes to draw it onto our cartridge paper. Uh, should we use a dark pencil on the... Um, as long as you don't, you, you don't have to. Um, an HB, a B, 2B can be fine. Uh, don't press too hard, because it t um, tracing paper has got quite a rough, a rough texture to it. What I didn't do as well is I didn't put a, a sort of central line the nose to give us the idea of a, of a ball shape. We can then use my tracing to begin to sketch in these construction lines that will hopefully help me create this pug. Whatever you're drawing, whatever it is you're doing, if you can break it down into simple shapes, then it'll be much, much easier. Because we get too caught up with trying to draw it accurately and sort of perhaps starting with an eye and then before you know it, you've got one eye in one place and the second eye in the completely wrong place. And you get so caught up in it. too much detail we can get the sort of proportions of it looking looks like it's looking around the corner there we go. We can get the, the shape and the construction looking looking okay looking like a a dog. We can then adjust things obviously everything's not exactly geometric shapes. 
just by doing a little smaller one first of all it helps you to get it into your head how to draw it 